So you're thinking about moving to New Haven, Connecticut, and you want to know all the things the natives know prior to moving here. In this video, I'll go over the top 10 things to know that all other New Haven natives know that you should as well. What's up everybody, I'm Joe Cafasso with the Cafasso Real Estate Group, and I'm right here in New Haven, Connecticut. If this is your first time to the channel, and you wanna know everything about New Haven, well, we do tons of videos and we have all the information you need to know. So please make sure you hit the subscribe button and tap that bell notification so you're notified every time that we do a new video. Honestly, we get so many phone calls, emails, and text messages about every single day from people looking to move to New Haven, Connecticut that we absolutely love it. So if you're thinking about moving, relocating to New Haven, please send us an email, send us a text, uh, send us a, give us a phone call. We will help you out any way that you need and getting more information about moving to New Haven. So the top 10 things that you need to know if you're looking to move to New Haven that all other New Haven natives know, here you go. Number one, New Haven is very serious about their food. We have so many different restaurants in downtown New Haven. Last count, there were well over 100 restaurants and we could get any type of food that you could imagine from Indian, Thai, Ethiopian, Certainly pizza and Italian food are what New Haven is known for, but any type of uh, food or cocktail that you want, we have some great bars with craft cocktails and craft beers. If you like to eat it, we certainly have it. Number two, deer are very serious about causing car accidents. In Connecticut, there's over 18,000 deer that die from car accidents every year. That's over 50 deer that get hit a day. So if you're driving, especially at night, um, always watch out for deer. Um, and one thing that you'll definitely want to know is that when you see one deer, there's certainly multiple. So uh, I got in a car accident hitting a deer once. Uh, the first deer jumped out in front of my car. I thought I was safe and I kept going. And the second one landed right on my hood. So deer are very serious about causing car accidents. Number three, if you're out somewhere and somebody asks you if you're a Red Sox fan or a Yankees fan, you are being baited for a fight. New Haven and Connecticut are very serious about their sports teams. We are centrally located between New York and Boston. So there are huge rivalries over Yankees and Red Sox. So if you're going to tell somebody uh, what team that you want, you better be ready to back that up. The fourth thing that you need to know about living in New Haven that all the natives know, if somebody does ask you about what sports team you like, just tell them that you'd rather see the Whalers be brought back to Connecticut. Connecticut doesn't have a professional sports team, but we used to have a professional hockey team. So anybody that's a native to Connecticut and New Haven who was born before 1990, they all ask to see the return of the Whalers. Number five, if you are a sports fan and you love basketball, you will love to root for the UConn basketball team. So University of Connecticut has a great basketball program and you will fall in love with it. New Haven, number six, is best known in the world of pizza. So like the Yankees and Red Sox, you will get in a bar fight if you pick the wrong pizza place that's your favorite. So we have three incredible pizza places, Pepe's, Sally's, and Modern. And again, you need to try all three of them. You will have a favorite, but if you were asked that favorite, better be prepared to back it up. Number eight, Louis Lunch. In downtown New Haven, there's a little a little uh, restaurant called Louis. It's basically you walk in, you order a hamburger. It is the birthplace of the hamburger, and that's definitely something that you have to try out. But one thing that you're going to know that all natives don't, um, that all natives know already, is you never ask for ketchup on that hamburger. You will be ridiculed. Number nine, like most states, you can't smoke inside a bar or a restaurant in New Haven. However, there's one spot you can. The Owl Shop is a local cigar shop and bar that has been grandfathered in. So if you are sitting there and you want a cigar inside a inside a building in a nice comfortable chair, watching and listening to jazz music, the Owl Shop is certainly a stop that you have to make. And number 10, all native New Haveners know that when people say they're moving to New Haven, they actually mean Greater New Haven, which is the majority of New Haven County, which is made up of a very diverse set of towns and we call that Greater New Haven. You have suburbs, you have urban areas, you have downtown New Haven. Um, don't pigeon yourself into thinking that if you're moving to New Haven, you have to live in the city. There are certainly very lovely parts. Um, you could get waterfront homes, you could get beach style living, uh, you could get farmland um, within a 10 minute drive of downtown New Haven. 
Uh, we have mortgage programs from the USDA, which will give you 100% financing for farming type communities. So there are certainly a lot of different styles of living when you say you want to move to New Haven, Connecticut. So if you're looking to find the perfect town in Greater New Haven and you want more information about that, send us a call, give us a call, send us an email, send us a text. Any way you want to communicate with us is great and we will be happy to help you get all the information you need about moving to New Haven.